In a lab, organizing chemicals correctly is extremely important. This is because most chemicals are not really compatible with each other, and this can be a serious hazard. Things like oxidizers, acids, flammables have to be stored in a proper cabinet in order for them not to degrade over time and to react with each other or other chemicals. For example, acetone is a very common solvent used in a wide variety of different chemical reactions. As you can see, I put some on this plate and light it on fire simply as a demonstration to see how solvents can be extremely flammable. Other chemicals can create explosive chemicals that can be quite dangerous. Things like acetone peroxide and lead compounds can be quite dangerous. Other chemical reactions can be mixed to create some pretty cool chemical reactions such as hydrogen peroxide and potassium permanganate. Even though they create a very seemingly harmless chemical reaction, these two oxidizers should not really be stored next to each other since both oxidizers can degrade over time. Things like acids and oxidizers degrade faster than other chemicals, which is exactly why they should be stored in proper cabinets. Other chemicals are even more dangerous. Things like lead compounds like lead oxide and lead sulfate are extremely poisonous. Not only toxic because they release toxic fumes, but if you were to ingest an even small amount of it, it would be very bad. Things like acids should be stored always in a proper corrosive cabinet. Acids should never be mixed or combined with things like base, strong bases such as sodium hydroxide, sodium bicarbonate, sodium, corp, sodium bicarbonate, and so on. Things like organic solvents and flammables should be stored in things like solvent cabinets, flammable cabinets, or fridge. They can be stored with other things like metals and sulfur, but it's not really recommended. The most complicated form of either chemicals to store is called oxidizers. Oxidizers are extremely, extremely dangerous, even though they not be seen like much. Oxidizers add oxygen to different molecules to oxidate, to oxidate them. Things like oxygen, hydrogen peroxide, potassium permanganate, and so on cannot be mixed with things like solvents. Like I said before, they could create some very explosive chemicals. If I missed anything in this list, things like toxic chemicals or degrading chemicals or even reducers, I have here a chart to show you more easily how to store different chemicals. As I said before, if I missed anything, here's just a simple chart to better help you understand how to store different chemicals. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and tune in next time for a different experiment.